Okay, let's do this. Ready? Ready. Hey, Slay Bays. It's your girls from Work, Play, and Slay. And we are back giving you guys another segment. I am Tanea Elise. I am Lynn. And I am Mercedes. Thank you so much, ladies. So, Koya could not be with us tonight, but we miss you. We love you. And she will be with us for our next segment. She just needs some needed R&R, &R, guys. So, when you need it, you need it. <laughs> So our first topic of the day, uh, we're gonna be talking about who should pay on the first date um, when it comes to you going on a date with a guy and then moving forward, what should that look like? So let's get into it, ladies. What do you guys think? The man should definitely pay. Absolutely, always. You should pay for <laughs> all always the dates. Pay. I agree. <laughs> I don't know about all of the dates. Unless you're in a committed relationship. Well, yeah, unless you're in a committed relationship. But like in the yes, court yes. Oh, like the dating stage. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's different. Yeah. That's different. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I agree. Like if it's in the, if you if he is courting you and he's trying to get in the draws, then yes, <laughs> yeah. I agree. Or just like have a normal relationship. <laughs> <laughs> all guys want to do is get in them draws at the oh, end okay. of the day. Let's just be real. That's the cherry. Like, that's the cherry on top. Like, yes, they may like you, whatever you look cute, but they want to get in them draws. Yeah, so, if they are trying to be in a relationship with you, yes, during the dating period, I absolutely feel like they should 100% pay for every date. Once you're in a committed relationship, though, it should be 50-50. Yeah, like okay. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was arguing with someone on Facebook about it the other day. And then he was like, oh, so you just go on dates at the expense of a man? I said, well, what? you're like, yes, I do. Wait, right. so, wait what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Yeah, yeah well, like, it's true. Right. You're complaining he about being a should, man? You didn't right. think you should pay on the first date or for yeah. all of them? He or? said men don't have money just to be throwing around. Well, they shouldn't be dating. They, I, I agree. They should I not. Agree. You don't have no ass at home. Yeah. <laughs> I, my dad like, always say, if you can't afford to have a girlfriend, then you shouldn't be dating. Facts. Exactly. Yeah. Having a girlfriend is expensive. It really is. Yeah. But we are an investment, okay? It's just not like wasted money, trust it's, me. It's That's very true. It's women are the prize. I exactly. agree. But yeah, during the beginning stages, like the dating stage, I think a man should definitely always pay because not only because you're a man and that's what you should be doing but it's also like sh <laughs> like you should right it also True. shows us that you will be able to like take care of us if it comes you're to a point where, right. you're, where you like maybe marry us or something like that it shows the woman okay he can provide for me i'm concerned if you can't pay for my dinner exactly you know, like, I, I don't know how i feel about moving forward if you can't even pay for my steak and green so right. i don't know <laughs> exactly but, exactly but i do think it's okay for the woman to pay when you're finally in a committed relationship yes right i know personally for me like i'm in a committed relationship and there are times where we go dutch there are times where i just pay for the meal he does pay the majority of the time right. Um, and I recognize that and I always feel very grateful and thankful. It's not like an expectation like you should pay all the time And I feel like with a lot of women like they just feel like their guy should be like that's the expectation Like no, like he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart and because he wants to be that provider And he wants to be that guy that takes care of you But don't be like I'm not gonna be with a dude unless the expectation is he pays for everything mm -hmm. like take care of yourself yeah, first exactly. I agree for me um I my boyfriend always pays like 99.99% .99 of the time <laughs> but I think it just has a lot to do with the way that his upbringing was yeah right um, he said How that his, his father was always the one who took care of like building stuff so I think it's like kind of embedded in him yeah. which I can appreciate but I also think like if I ask him on a date like like actually say hey you want to go somewhere like I'll pay for yeah it. Um, really yeah. yeah I still don't do that yeah if I come up with the idea the place I'm still not paying well, but no, no, I'm not if I not. come up with the idea like if I actually ask him because sometimes I'll be like what well, can I take you to dinner like just oh okay yes. yeah. Okay, I get that Whatever. yeah special occasion That's yeah. Yeah. but if he's like what do you want to do and, like, and then let I me think about it you have no right or, he's just like yeah. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna you know tonight we're gonna role play let's be different like us yeah and I also like places to plan the date oh yeah I don't like a guy who's like okay what you I know that's yeah. not boring. Let's chill. Oh my god. No, like, think of something oh, creative. Yes. You know, like yeah. have a plan for I me. agree. Let me know you're picking me up at what time. Mm -hmm. and we're we're ready by this time. Exactly. We're going this yeah. place. Or don't tell me where we're going. Right. Be like, I just need you to be ready at this yeah. time. Right. And, and I hate when they say whatever you want to do. That is so horrible. <laughs> I hate that. Oh my god. Did you think you want to do? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Like, okay, fine. I'm just going to go by myself. <laughs> exactly. Leave me alone. You know? If I don't know. What do you want to do? Yeah. I don't know. What do you want to do? Right. I just go on forever. That gets boring. 
Yeah, it's, I don't like that. So guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, don't. literally plan, plan it out. Like, have a plan. Like, plan it out. Set the time, whatever. And have so flowers for her for the first date. Yeah. Absolutely yes. have flowers. Because if you're already doing that in the dating stages, like, I can already see in the future when we get married, it's going to be a boring-ass marriage. Yes. Exactly. Like, and that's going to be a turn-off for me in the dating stage. Like, so okay, true. already he can't plan a date. I always have to be the one planning plans a date. I know when we get married. If he can't like, plan a date, he can't plan his life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good quote. That's true. <laughs> what do you guys think about the men who feel like they shouldn't have to pay that because we're in a newer society? They I feel think like they should have an excuse to not be a man. But you want me to still be a woman. You want me to still cook and clean right. and sleep with you and do everything that I used to do in the 50s. They always say, this isn't the 50s anymore, but you want me to still act like I'm in the 50s, but you don't want to act like you're still Facts. in the 50s. And it's not a one like, no. And Facts. I'm sorry. They always say, well, why do we have to do it? You know how guys always say, like, well, a woman, she's a hoe. She sleeps with a lot of... Oh, my gosh. Men. That's but a whole you know, other time. Right? A man, we can't be a hoe. That's just the way it is. Well, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You got to pay for these dates. That's right? Just, <laughs> it's just the way it that's is. That's the risk the that you take when, when you promise. ask to go on a date with somebody. You are trying to find out if you enjoy their time, if you want to continue to spend time with them, if you want this relationship to grow. If it doesn't go anywhere, then, oh, well, you lost out on $80, $100, right. like however much you spent. But that's the risk that you... That's what dating Dating is all about like you can't be like I'm not gonna take you on a date because I don't know where this is going why even go on a date I think right. a lot of men are scared that it has to be expensive it doesn't have to be not at all just be creative, creative. Yeah. Exactly. be thoughtful like yeah. that's all I care about it's not gonna be expensive yeah I like you can literally cook at home well, well, I don't know about me. that well not on the first day I'm not going well to no not house. on the first day right. no, absolutely not <laughs> okay. but during the dating stages yeah like, yes. time goes on you like okay this time I'm gonna cook for you exactly you know? yes. just have just a whole little creative. setup candles nice music some oh, jazz nice playing and then just cook a good meal good wine like and good yeah. conversation that's all you need yeah these men these days Lord, it's so hard dating these days. I wouldn't know anything about that I'm <laughs> Not dating. Everyone, you do the most. Um, yeah. yes. It is horrible out there. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry for those single that. gals. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. None of us are single, guys. No. Nice. Thank are you, Jesus. Off the market. So, <laughs> but we've been there before. So <laughs> we we know. We've been in your shoes. Have we have been in your shoes. Yeah. So we know it. Speaking of dating, right? So let's get into our next topic. And our next topic is when you are dating someone who is of a different race of yourself, of course, um, and you have children with that person. Let's say you get married, you guys have children, or even if you don't get married with them, like. I personally feel like it's important for you to learn about that other person's background, their culture, their ethnicity, um, especially if you're dating someone of, like again, your different race. So to me, when I see these little mixed girls running around with curly hair and it's all matted and jacked up, that makes me mad. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like as a mother, that's one of your responsibilities. And no, I'm not a mother, but I feel like I, I have a mother so I can know what to expect and what she should do and should not be doing. But the messy hair has nothing to do with race though, right? No, I'm talking about- Or interracial dating. Interracial though. dating as far as, that's just one example okay. I'm saying. So if you have a, for instance, let's use the most commonly, like you have someone who's white dating someone who's black and they have a biracial child and they don't know how to upkeep their hair. Like, or she doesn't know. Or she doesn't know how to upkeep their hair. In right? the case that she has a Caucasian mother. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I've seen a story online. The mother got mad. She had a she was um, she had a baby with a black guy, mm -hmm. and she got mad because the father had the daughter's hair braided. I saw that right? a while ago. That I was did. horrible. Like she didn't. She thought it was too ethnic. I yeah, guess. I agree. I saw I that. remember I reading saw that. that. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah, remember yeah. reading that. Well, yeah. you know, it was it wasn't too ethnic when she was sitting on it. So exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> she liked that ethnic right. Like you're black enough for me to date you, but I don't want my child to look black. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you know, that's offensive to him because that's his culture, and he exactly. probably has sisters. Right. Um, that grew up with their hair like that, and so she probably wants, didn't know how to care for her yeah. hair. Right. Like a lot of times they'll have it dry no offense to anyone but like mixed kids a lot of times their hair will be dry oh, yeah, mm -hmm. very like true. they don't moisturize it enough like yeah black people hair is thick it needs to be moisturized <laughs> it does, it does. Yeah. like it, it requires your a lot of scalp treatment. 
Like yes. you need to oil your scalp. Like yeah. it comes from the roots. It comes from the roots. It definitely does. So I feel like it's extremely important, no matter who you're dating, whether it be black, white, Hispanic, Asian, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you are. If you are dating someone, or if you do decide to marry someone of a different race or ethnicity or culture from you, it's important for you to learn that culture on both parts, whether you're the wife or the husband. Exactly. Um, so that when your children grow up, they are introduced to both sides of their cultures, and they're not feeling misplaced because i'm sure you guys know how many times have you met someone who's mixed who are just like i didn't know what i was i don't know if i should hang out with this type of people or this type of people people wanted me like my hair was this way but then I, when i straightened it was this way so i fit in here so it's really important for you if you are dating someone who is of a different race culture ethnicity than you to make sure you learn about it yeah so that you can raise your kids person do if they're dating another person somebody of another race Conversation, like if they, let's say, uh, what's the movie? Guess who with Bernie Mac yes. and Ashton Kutcher and Zoe Saldana, which I love. Uh, when they were all sitting down at the table and they were like making the jokes or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like he had said the one joke that was just like too far, like took it inappropriate. If I, if we were at a conversation and we're talking about oh another young black man got shot by the yeah. police and you're just sitting here and you're just like, well, I mean, he was just doing his job. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. And that's why it's important to understand the other True. culture. Exactly. You have to be careful what you say. You don't want to offend people. You need to understand their feelings and why they feel the way they feel. You know, I just think that's important. I don't know. And even if you disagree, like even if you disagree, at the black table with the black mama and the grandma and the uncle, you don't say that. And the cousin. And, and the, the cousin. <laughs> and Uncle Ray Ray and TT. <laughs> Like, you don't say that. Yeah. Educate yourself on your culture, and that way you will raise a child of any race, of any ethnicity, mm -hmm. in a way where they feel comfortable in their own skin and being around other people. And you feel comfortable as a parent that you've done a good job and raised a decent human being. That's all. Yeah. Okay, wait, what about if you have a white and black child? So and, a mixed child. Yes, <laughs> and both the parents want them to identify with being black. And Should not they, recognize their white side? Exactly. Why? Yeah. I Why don't not? Think, <laughs> I don't think that's right because then you're yeah. ignoring the, an entire side of, of your family. Like you have a, another family over here. Yeah, what, if your fam, what if your white side is racist? Should well, you still bring racist, your baby around them? Like, no, I wouldn't no. bring I wouldn't bring my child around them anymore. No. I would still instill in them that, hey, you are half black, half white. And I'm going to teach you about both sides, but I'm not going to bring my child yeah. around you if they're Why racist. would I want you around all of that hatred? Right. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't agree. want to expose you to all of that hatred, but you would understand that you are both black and white. Now, we could be talking about this all day, trust and believe, because it's definitely a hot topic. So let's get into our next topic. And this topic is a topic that we feel very passionate about here, okay? <laughs> 
And that is gonna be, at what age is it appropriate for you to stop going to the club? Let's hear it. What's the cutoff? Let's see. I am going, I mean, everybody is different. Like, yeah, a 25 year old could be at a different stage in their life than an 18 year old, yeah, yeah, 30 year old. Yeah, but sure. um, let's see, for myself, I don't want to be friends with people or date guys who are in the club after the age of. For guys, I'm going to. Because <laughs> that's way for your answer. Okay, right wait. Now. For guys, okay, I'm gonna say. Twenty-five. Well, twenty-five. Is that too young? That's too that's old. That's still young. young. That's still young. Okay, I'm twenty-five. Yeah. And you shouldn't be in the club. Why? No. Because you're too damn old. I'm not old. I still want to shake my well, ass. Well, you can shake your ass at home. I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> no, I think I think it's not about it. Okay, for I don't yeah. know because that's 25. I think, I think like it's your once you start seeing that you're starting to club and not get anywhere in life. That's, that's when you're too true. Old. But also at 20, when I turn 25, I'm 28 now. When I turned 25, I had a quarter ago. life crisis. Yeah. I did. I'm I like, okay, I'm 25. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. Oh, so young. Like, my career is not established yet. Oh, my fucking gosh. What am I going to do? Yeah. Like, I cannot be in the club. Like, do I hang out with 22-year-olds or 30-year-olds? Like, I'm just stuck in the middle. I that crisis, like, You know, like, go. Oh, I did. I mean, well, how old are you now? 24. Oh, my. She has yeah. one more year to go. But I 100% understand where you're coming from Same. when it comes to that. Because when I was... 18, 19. I was like, I'm going to be married by the time I'm 25. I'm right. going to have a child. A house and I'm going to have a house. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have that. And then, like, you have to be brought down to reality. Right. And, like, oh, my God. Like, what was I thinking? Like, I know for a fact that I'm not ready to have children right now. Right. Yeah, um, I know for a fact that I'm not ready to get married right now. So, but are you, you ever ready? Had, I think so. No. I think so. You just got to do it sometimes. No. But anyways. Um, <laughs> Just do marriage. Right. Do not it's do not Nike. Do not do no, it's it. like having kids. Are you ever ready to Yes. Have kids? No, because kids are people, freaking pain. People like plan all the stuff to you have go children. Through, but still, like all the stuff you have to go through with having a child. Like the diapers, the late nights, the tiredness. I don't, I don't think you're ready for the, the labor yeah. behind it. But when you say I'm ready to have a child, then yes. I mean, you're spreading your legs wide open and you're trying every single night. So then yes, you're ready. I think she but, means like from maybe like a financial standpoint, okay. like I'm ready financially. Right. Financially, that's the only and way you I'm can ready be ready. To be a but mother. not emotionally, physically. Yeah, emotionally, yeah. I think that's different. Mentally. That's different. But back to the club. No one's ready. Yeah, back to the club. <laughs> back to the club. So she says 25, I disagree. I feel like if you still want to go to the club and hang out and have fun at 25 years old, that's fine. But to Lynn's point, if your shit is not together, yeah, then you should not be at the club, especially not every Sunday night at International. You know who you are. <laughs> Why are you there every single Sunday night when you can't pay your car note? Boop. Every wow. Sunday so. night. That's <laughs> true. Right. And they say, what are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very so so that's the only time I think it's okay to be in the it's club. you're celebrating. Regularly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For special occasions. And there's an event going on. Absolutely. Right. For birthdays, New Year's. there's like a celebrity I want to see. Right. right. Or if it's like, for instance, Labor Day is coming up. So yes. that would be a nice time to go out mm -hmm. Sunday fun day because we don't have to work on Monday. Like that's okay. But if right. you're there every single weekend of Even every life, other week. That's like, still too why? Much. Right. Every other week is I too need much. twice a year. Yeah. You're seeing the I'm same people. I'm not about people. to keep my $20 to you Not at all. <laughs> you know, I'm that's not doing ridiculous. it. And there's nothing in the club. No. The same people. The same, same people. Doing the same thing. Trying to stunt. Right. Trying I'm to act like they're popping. <laughs> like literally... And most of these people don't even dance. In no, the black clubs, they, they just that. stand around on no, the wall. They do. Staring at each other. That's so annoying. So like, bust a move. Come on now. <laughs> Please. Bust a move. Bust a move. Bust a move. Bust a move. I need you to two-step for me right now. Yeah. I need more than a two-step at the club. You got the two-step at home. <laughs> two-step your ass in the room. I think, okay, so I think for men... Um, I would say like 30 for men because oh, they yeah. mature a little bit. 30? Yeah, yes. but not every weekend. Yeah, I don't want a guy to have friends after 26. What? Yes! What are you talking about? Their friends are bad influences. Why do you think that's good friends? Because when they're with their friends, they do a bunch of shit. Mercedes, not why? Not all of them, but the younger guys. Oh, yes. the younger guys. Well, guys, yeah, but and then that's why you have to get I a man with big head on his shoulders because he's gonna be like, nah, that's that young shit. Y'all go do that. 
I'm going home to my woman. Absolutely. But yeah. how many guys take home for the team? You mean like, I'm just about to roll just because everybody else rolling? No, like, like okay, okay, he's with a girl, I'm with my friend, and she has a friend. I need to just talk to her for a minute because um, I need to take home for the team. I feel like talking to a girl yeah. and being cordial and just sitting there and have a conversation so with her is different. Yeah. But what if you're in a relationship? Holiday. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't you don't think so? No. Oh, what about a lounge? A lounge is fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think for yeah, guys, absolutely. because they usually have friends who are younger, so say you, your man is 30, you probably have a friend that's 28, 27. Really? I think it's okay to go out every once in a while, but I think like going out consistently is, I don't know, every once in a while too. Like maybe like once every like four to six months. You know? <laughs> wow. Four to six months. <laughs> no, at 30 though, at 30. Oh, Not okay. Younger, at 30. Okay. Do you birds of a feather flock together? I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. So do. do you have a bunch of hoe friends? <laughs> no, but I think it does. I don't think it necessarily makes you a hoe, but I think that perception. But the whole stage is coming. No, I don't think perception is reality. So even though you're not actually a hoe, if you hang out with all the hoe girls in the world, see you as a hoe. <laughs> I agree. Even if you're truly not one, right? They're gonna see you because as a then hoe you anyway. have to question yourself and be like, why do I hang out with all these hoes? Like yeah. <laughs> these girls are busting it wide open every night, and every I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. So maybe I need to reevaluate my relationships because. But well, I mean, that's the same thing it's crazy as a marriage and single thing. Friend. If I'm that's married, true, though, why am I hanging because, out with a bunch of single people? But they don't. That's because they're single. Doesn't mean that they're hoes. Maybe. They no, just, not hoes, but I'm just saying, it's a different romantic. world. Yeah, it is a different world. It is. Your whole friend is the best friend you got, I'm gonna tell you. They are <laughs> turning out. They really they do. know all the hottest they spots. They keep me so young. young. They do. <laughs> oh, keep me so young. They keep me moisturized. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 they do the best. It's because they still out there looking. <laughs> like, I didn't find my man. Okay. I'm just gonna keep these old raggy ass clothes I Same no wigs, same no flip flops. You know what it is. <laughs> you know, it's all about your mindset and where you are in life. So yeah, I definitely believe that if you are a 28-year-old woman, then you really need to start slowing down, reevaluating, re so. unless you do want to be single. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because yes, right. it's all about your priority. Exactly. If your priority is that you enjoy dating and you don't want to be in a relationship, do you, boo-boo. Right. But if you want to find a husband and you want to settle down, then you need to start changing the types of things that you're doing. Yeah, right. you have to change the people you hang out with, the environment. I think it kills me when women who are like 28, 29, 30, like, I just really want a man. I'm getting old. But you're always in the club. Right. right. Where are you going to find a man at? Where are you going to get a man You're not in the club. Definitely not. So change your surroundings, change your environment, go to a business summit or something, yeah. go to a conference. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? What yes. is a good place to meet men? What do you Business think? conferences. Yeah. Steakhouses, I think. Yes, If too. you sit at the yes. bar by yourself. Yes. Drink yes. a glass of wine. Right. That's how my girl met her. The gym. Yeah. Yes, the gym. Go to club you're looking for. If Don't. you're looking for a serious, committed relationship, you got to stop going to the club right now. You got to stop it right now. You got to stop, stop right now. Just stop. Hang up Say, the Lord. Lord. I declare that I will stop going to the club to find a man. Yes. I shall be still, and he will come. I to shall you. be still, and right. if you keep going, he'll hey. leave you. If you got one, and yes. you keep going, he's gonna leave you. Right, right, because right. your man found him there. Unless you pinky, just man. want the penis, mm -hmm. then go to the club. Facts. Yeah, so that, that's the first truly, spot to stop. Yeah, yeah. some women just want to be single and so make sure you wrap it up, chap. Make sure, because he's probably thotting all over town. <laughs> Yes, All right, guys. Well, that is our segment for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Tanea Elise. We are the ladies from Workplay and Slay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.